What's going on lads? So it's been quite a while. Right, so before we actually jump into today's video, loads of people have been asking me for the last two, three months since I stopped uploading, what have I been up to, am I coming back? So I've been chilling out, I've been spending a lot more time with the family because when I was doing YouTube full time, uh, and YouTubers will know, you literally have no time to do anything. Your whole day is dedicated to YouTube and I've really enjoyed the break from it. Obviously, I wish it didn't go the way it did and I was still doing it full time, but I've enjoyed having more free time. But since then, I've been going down a different avenue, still, you know, online related. I've been doing editing for different content creators. I would love to do more of that, uh, especially with FIFA 19 coming out, there might be more FIFA YouTubers looking for an editor. So I would love to kind of go down that avenue and see, can I turn that into a job? But I've been, in, I've been enjoying it. It's, it's fun kind of just doing the editing side and it's a bit different, but it's enjoyable as well. So that's what I've been up to. I've grown a bit of hair, if a lot of you probably noticed that already. And yeah, so that's what I've been up to, chilling out, working on the editing side of things, see so if you're going to turn that into anything. Will I be back for FIFA 19? I don't know. Honestly, there's, for if, when I come back, it's obviously, there's no money involved, so I cannot put full-time effort into it, especially if I'm editing for the creators, if that's bringing in some income. So full-time, probably not, unless I upload the first video and it explodes and the comeback is great. I'll see. I, I, I'm going to get FIFA 90. Let's put it that way. So it's highly likely I'm going to record something and upload it to my channel. So it will be on this channel. I think I'm going to put this on my Derek Ranks channel because it's a random video and it's just something I wanted to express my opinion on. So that does lead us straight into what today's video is all about. And it came up yesterday, True Jordy O'Brien uploaded a video saying that Logan Paul wants him out of the whole fight situation. He doesn't want True Jordy doing the commentary on the fight because he's saying he is not neutral. And look, I sent out a tweet, a lot of you have probably seen it on Twitter yesterday, I sent uh, True Jordy a tweet. I have nothing against True Jordy, I'm completely neutral between Logan and Jordy, True Jordy. I, I spoke to Brian about... <laughs> three, four years ago when I was starting to grow on YouTube and he was, I think he was he was obviously doing FIFA at the time and somebody tweeted us and said we should do a collab and unfortunately it never happened. Uh, two of us were pretty busy at the time but that's the only time I've talked to him so I don't know him and I don't know Logan. I'm seeing this from a neutral point of view and I can see where Logan's coming from. Now I can also see where True Geordie is coming from because anything uh, Brian has said about Logan has been absolutely true and it's been absolutely on point. But the problem is you bring that into a, a professional environment, which the fight is going to be. I can totally understand why Logan wouldn't want somebody commentating on a fight, the biggest night of Logan's life, easily. And it's somebody that has really gone in on Logan and he said some pretty nasty things about him. Again, justified things said about Logan at the time. And I can understand why he wouldn't want True Jordy doing the commentary, if that makes sense. Because let's say I was about to be in this fight, the biggest night of my life, it's going to be the biggest event on YouTube, and I've done something really shitty in the past. And the commentator on that fight is somebody that comes across as absolutely hates my guts, has pretty much called me every name under the sun. I wouldn't want that as the commentator because... In my mind, even though I do 100% believe True Geordie would be professional as anything, neutral as possible, because I think he learned from the Weller fight that you have to be 100% neutral, and he's learned that lesson, and there's no doubt in my mind he would be very professional, neutral on the night. But in Logan's head, there's no way in hell he thinks he's going to get a fair crack of the whip during the commentary of that fight. So that's why I understand it. And again, it's unfortunate for True, True Jordan because again, I think he'll be absolutely brilliant on the night. He was brilliant the first time. Yes, he was slightly leaning towards, being a bit biased towards uh, Joe Weller, which was understandable. It was his first time doing something like that. Joe Weller was his good friend. And if you're not used to that situation, you're obviously going to lean towards your mate. This time around, he knows he can't do that. And he's apologized for that in the past. So it's very unfortunate. I do actually think he'll get to do it. And if he doesn't, look, he uploaded that video yesterday, I think he gained 80 or 90,000 subscribers. His channel's blowing up, the guy's killing it. He just needs to concentrate on continue doing what, don't let it get him down too much because 
He's doing way too well at the minute. He's absolutely smashing it. So I really hope it doesn't get him down too much. Yes, he'd be bitterly disappointed, as well as millions of people that were going to tune in, or will still will tune in, let's be honest, to the fight. So that's my say on it. I can understand both sides of it. 100% understand why True Jordy would be upset about the situation, but I have to see it from Logan's point of view as well, because if it was me, I wouldn't want somebody that, in my mind, hates me. He's... Brian's already said he doesn't hate Logan, he's nothing to him, he's just, he got caught up in the moment back when that whole drama went out, I'm not bringing it up again, but we all know what we're talking about. Brian got really roped into it because it's something he's experienced himself in the past, so understand where that video came on, came from, unfortunately it has come back to bite him in the hole a little bit, but it's not going to affect him, his career is blowing up and he'll get plenty more opportunities like this in the future. Fingers crossed he still gets to do it, if not, Hope it doesn't get him down too much. That's my say on it. A lot of people will disagree that I'm, I'm not backing up Logan. I'm seeing it from both sides, a neutral side. And I can understand why somebody wouldn't want a commentator that looks like he hates him. In Logan's mind, he hates his guts, which we can understand. But hopefully uh, Brian gets to do it. It would be fantastic if he did. I'm going to go out on a limb and say he will get to do it. Because KSI's done a response video. I don't know if it went up today or last night. And he's pretty much shown that... Again, Logan's talking a little bit shit, but I think you'll get to do it. That's my ramble over with. I just want to get my voice and my opinion out there. Maybe I'll see you soon. Drop a like on the video if you want. Subscribe if you're new, because possibly FIFA na- Really? Really? Ten minutes in, I get a phone call. Right, okay. I will talk to you soon. Take care, boys. Cheerio.